number one Iron Age booty daddy. You know, the conservative catchphrase nowadays should just be take advantage of me, daddy, because it just so happens that as long as you are sending in those good old donation dollars to conservative, you know, leadership and politics, it's okay to go out and basically tell most of your audience and most of your patrons to go F off. We don't like you. We want to rebrand for a new audience. Now, this is what I get out of what Donald Trump Jr. just came out with and said that we should end the conservative-led boycott of Bud Light uh, with the over the partnership with trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney. He is not a trans influencer. Dylan Mulvaney is not trans. He is a pretender. So if you guys support supporting pretenders, go for it. Uh, well, most of you who dislike this video probably support pretenders, uh, whether they're conservative or Republican. But let's get into why Donald Trump Jr. and what he said is wrong about this and why people like him will absolutely lead us into the continual losses in the culture war that the, I guess, the freedom side of the aisle has been suffering for the last, I don't know, 50 years. So over here on Business Insider, <clears throat> Donald Trump Jr. calls for an end to conservative-led boycott. Bud Light and iconic Anheuser-Busch over a partnership with trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney. Now, and I do apologize if the screen gets a little wonky here because the text is so small, but I want to make sure that you guys are able to... Uh, sorry for the, the ads and stuff. <clears throat> Donald Trump Jr. is calling for an end to the conservative-led boycott, blah, 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 blah. Okay, during an April 13th uh, broadcast of his triggered podcast, the eldest son of the former President Donald Trump addressed the controversy that has become a new cultural front in the political rights, increasingly vocal criticism of transgender issues and the conservative push. It's not transgender issues. It has nothing to do with transgender issues. It has to do with pushing on an ideology Two children that, if they actually did it, could radically screw them up for the rest of their lives if when they're adults they realize they don't want to do this, right? Because that's why we call it your formative years. Because you're forming who you are going to be. And to make decisions at that point in time before you have formed who you are can be radically destructive to one's psyche. <clears throat> Okay, and issues the conservative push to pass uh, legislation restricting gender affirming care for minors. For minors, that there's a big thing there. People don't care if you're over the legal age. Well, I do. I actually think you should wait until you're 25 when the brain is fully developed, right? And the chemicals in the brain are fully developed and firing. <clears throat> 25 is the rough age there, but no, I, I personally believe 25. And actually, well, what about military? 25. What about the, the drinking? 25. If we're going to go with it, let's just go. Let's just go. Okay? Because that's what science says. The brain's fully developed and you can are finally forming the most rational decisions that you can in your life is around that age. Trump Jr., who frequently rails against what he deems as woke, influence is in American society, is usually fighting alongside conservatives on many issues, but he broke away from the movement as it related to Anheuser-Busch. I'm not for destroying an American, an iconic company for something like this. The company itself doesn't participate in the same leftist nonsense as the bigger conglomerates. I wonder if that is true. And I would imagine that would take a decent amount of research um, to find out. But I would imagine, uh, let's just take him at his word here. He said arguing that Anheuser-Busch had a conservative lean in their political donations. Oh, had a conservative lean. Meaning that Anheuser-Busch, as long as they spend a little bit more money with conservatives, and let's not forget how the conservatives did in 2010 and 2014 when they had the House and the Senate, right? Let's not forget how they betrayed the trust of the Americans that put them into office and what led to the election of Donald Trump. Okay, but as long as you're so, and it's not even as long as you're supporting 51% conservatives in their spending, why not? They should absolutely every company should be allowed to go out and partner with people that are diametrically opposed to their brand and diametrically opposed to their customer base. 
According to Open Secrets, Anheuser Busch and, in, and individuals affiliated with the company donated 514 million to the National Republican Senatorial Committee in 2022 election cycle. Individuals with ties to the company also gave uh, 464 million to the National Republic Congress for the same cycle. Notice they don't mention where they did any of their other donations. Notice that they don't mention where any of their other donations, <clears throat> okay? Frankly, they don't participate in the same woke garbage that, well, uh, yes, now they do. Look at their vice president of marketing. Look at their absolutely weak apology, non-apology that they gave last week. This is, and by the way, this isn't a commentary on Bud Light. This is a commentary on limp dick. Mm, Got to get this video demonetized. Screw it. Limp dick conservative Republicans who don't conserve anything and are, as long as they're making a little bit of money, are willing to sell your children to be mutilated at the knife on the altar of the woke. That's what this video is a commentary on. Who are significantly worse offender when I looked into it. But if they do this again, then it's on them. Then screw them. Oh, so you're abusers. They can, they can abuse you once, right? And you shouldn't leave. So just let, let these companies come out and at least tell all of you just one time, right? No, we don't like you. We don't want you. We want to market to different people. You're bad for our business. Just let them tell you that once and continue to buy their product. But if they do it a second time, oh, this is called social conditioning is what this is. This is telling people to look at these companies who are absolutely trashing them in every sense of the word. And here's the one thing he doesn't mention. Other companies have been doing it in mass. He says, frankly, they don't participate in the same won't garbage. So Anheuser-Busch isn't familiar with what all other companies around them have been doing? Really, Donald Trump Jr.? You think that Anheuser-Busch doesn't pay attention to any of this? Well, it was just a mistake, guys. Let the abuser abuse you once. That's, that's what Donald J. Trump believes, apparently. Donald Trump Jr., I should say. Donald Trump Jr., sorry. The J's, the Jr., Donald J Jr., Donald Jr. The boycott began when many... Okay, and then and then it just goes on to a whole thing here about Dylan Mulvaney and all the stuff that we already know. And so that article was really short, and they just fluffed it up with everything from the last three weeks. Okay? So here's my issue with this. My issue with this is, one, Donald Trump Jr. blatantly said there, as long as his dad can make money from the company, you should not boycott them. I would, or the people that his dad supports, you shouldn't boycott them. I strongly disagree, okay? He then also states that, well, they don't participate in the same way or to the level that these other companies have, but this has been going on for years, which means that he is literally gaslighting people into saying that Anheuser-Busch hasn't been paying attention and to say that they don't participate in the same ways, I would wonder where the rest of their donations go because this, conveniently enough, didn't tell us where the other half of their donations go, right? It told us where about a billion dollars went. How about the second billion dollars to the political PACs? But they have a conservative lean, right? So they lean to giving his dad more money for his presidential campaign. So it's okay for this company to come out and for the VP of marketing to say they don't like you. They don't like the culture that you're a part of. They don't want you. They want to market to somebody else because you're not good enough. I say boycott them harder. This right here is why the rhinos... And the dinos, as they call them, have become the uniparty. And right now, we are seeing Trump Jr. fully admit that he is down with companies to treat people like this as long as they give more money to the people he thinks are better in the uniparty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is completely and utterly disgusting, and I absolutely despise politicians who are like this i said it from the beginning yeah i voted for donald trump but i was very it was either that or hillary well i thought it was i could have just wrote my own name in right could have wrote my own name in years ago too for the 2020 election i didn't but i, I genuinely regret voting for donald trump because 
That guy governed like a soft socialist, at least on domestic policy. If you disagree, go look at the policies that he passed. Okay. I can absolutely believe that Donald Trump Jr. would come out and say this. This right here. This right here. And I hope that this is not true. This right here shows that as long as the money flows in a certain direction, these politicians and these politicians' kids will always agree with the money more than their voters. Right? This is something that I cannot overlook. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think down below. Do you think that Donald J. Trump or Donald Trump Jr. and by extension his dad cares more about where that money goes from Anheuser-Busch in the 51 in the lean in the conservative lean? Yeah, let's insider. Why didn't you post the other numbers there? It was it was a conveniently titled article. It was a conveniently worded article too. So let me know what you guys think about what Donald Trump said. Are you ending your boycott of Bud Light? Do you think you should boycott them at all? Do you think it's okay for companies to look at their customer base and tell them off and say, go find somewhere else, we don't want you anymore, and for customers to just sit there and take it and continue to buy their product? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and never forget, I do a special live stream every single Sunday. And I do that because, well, I read all of your comments. Because if you're going to engage with me, I engage with you. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and hit the notification bell for me as well. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.